where is where, where are the independent private sector hedge funds, the private sector mutual funds, the, the private sector banks, the, the, the private sector capital that you promised, that this government promised uh, when they made the announcements uh, for this corporate plan, your own mandate states that you are going to be leveraging two to one. In the October uh, 2016 economic update, former finance minister Bill Morneau said that it could be as high as four to one. So absolutely, just to the, to the foundational, like definitional question, to us, those are pools of private capital. We just heard testimony from Mr. Corey from the CIB. Uh, he maintains that there is private sector money being committed to these projects. Uh, specifically, he pointed to the REM project in Montreal and the Alberta irrigation project. Uh, can you, would you like to, to, to explain how you put in your post that, that, that there is no private sector investment when Mr. Corey claims that there is? Mr. Drew? Of course. So we looked at project and we got information from the, the bank themselves. And we also looked at Statistics Canada's definition of government entities. And based on, on the funding for which there has been there have been contracts signed, so the two that you're referring to, Réseau Express Metropolitain and Alberta Irrigation Project, they're all funded by government entities as defined by Statistics Canada. So unless Statistics Canada got confused in their definition of government, we consider that there's no private sector uh, involvement in these two uh, projects. So sure. I, think that, I think that's a very important point uh, you just made, Mr. Uh, what, what you're telling me is that the government itself defines private sector entities a certain way and defines government entity, entities a certain way. And according to the government's own definition, the 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 investments in those two projects do not contain any private sector investment. Is, am I am I correct in summarizing it that way, Mr. Drew? And that's a very accurate summary. 